Yeah, maybe one day you'll remember. Mm, today is not that day. Uh, one tab that. Sending out the message to all of my friends. I sound like I've been smoking pot, smoking again. <clears throat> I, I believe the response to that is again. Yeah. Well, when you're asthmatic, you do get cho you do get smoker cough. Remember? I'm aware. It's the most smokery of coughs ever. Um. Da -da 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 -da. I know one of my friends is gonna be like, "You should be sleeping." No. Uh, why are you sick? Kinda. I slept all day today. I mean, so did I. But if you're not feeling well, then I feel fine. It's just my back hurts. It's. I'm. I hate laying. I. I. I I'm fine. Everyone, I'm fine. Audience, quit caring about me so much, please. God darn it. Streamer settings. Ah. Oh, so you could have people actually participate for it. So basically, you could have someone like everyone gets to choose who lives and who dies. That sounds like a terrible idea for your first time run through. That's why we're not doing it. <laughs> All right, hi audience. Look, we're playing a different game. Um, yeah, I know. I could be doing house flipper right now, but I don't want to. I don't want. Um, let's see. Da, da, da. Okay, good. So, so, so death, taxes, lemons, lemons. It's very French. Ha ha ha. Okay, so we go to that. Oh, it's like a book. It's a man in a red tie walking through. Fate, keeper of the world order. Hi, Fate. Say hi as to Fate. As long as it's not the man in the yellow hat. It's not the man in the yellow hat. He's the man in the yellow tie. <laughs> lemons. Mm -hmm. Every villain is lemons. We're supposed to be serious right now, and we're not. I mean, the art style is really good. I like the art style. It's very watercolory. Very pretty. Very textury. Mm -hmm. And also, the music is very French. Hey, it's that reference to Abbey Road. He's going to the market to buy some lemons. He gets tapped on the shoulder. Demonic e That's how I feel when someone taps me on the shoulder at the market. Six feet away! Oh, I can scroll. Uh-huh. He's doing magic. Uh, Ark, is this any magic you know? Do you, do you know this magic? Uh, not off the top of my head. Oh, you don't know, you don't know necromancy? Not off the top of my head, no. And now, I'm born. Let's see, what can I do for my Grim Reaper look? Ooh, all black. Very sexy. Yes, that, uh, that business attire look. Yeah, listen, we are a modern we are a modern Grim Reaper. We must look fancy. Well, as long as it's a Grim Reaper, not you know, another kind of Reaper. It's California Reaper. Uh, stick an A in there somewhere, and you'll all know. All right, what I, mean. I, I know, I know. Should I go for <laughs> the all black, or should I go for the black with the red tie? Uh, all black. Because we're the Reaper. Yeah. Actually, you know, the red tie does kind of give him some nice little look, but yeah. I guess it breaks up it breaks it up a little bit. Yeah, it breaks up the monotony. And also kind of gives an Agent 47 look. And we are killing people. Mhm. Mm I mean, we can't Allegedly. Uh, uh, we are changing our we can't change our outfits later on. Mhm. Mm Be ready to begin the bureaucratic afterlife? Sure. I knew it was evil. Hi. Kitty! The new spawn has awoken. Kitty! Oh, wait up, sup? What a... Uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn... Hang on. Spawn number... I can't three. decide whether you should live or die. <laughs> we, I wanted to be spawn number 69 so I could go noise. But it's 63. I... 
Shake's head. Shut up. I am the keeper. Shake's head. You are the keeper of world order. Now explain 2020 to me then. <laughs> Mr. Keeper of World Order. Uh, where am I? Let's see. Straight to the point. Great. You are in my office. Here to work as a Grim Reaper. Does a Grim Reaper get dental? Because if the Grim Reaper gets dental, I'll consider that as a job. Well, I mean, I don't know if he'd really need it. He's all skin. He's not even skin and bones. He's just bones. Yes, but teeth are bones, so therefore dental. I mean, he doesn't have any bones about it, so why should you? Uh, oh, I'm going to throw Grim into this chat and make you guys have philosophy debates again. Wait, that's punishing me. Okay, I mean, this is advantage. I was like, that disadvantages you more than me, so... Yeah, Grim right now is playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and he is basically geeking out. Pretty standard stuff. Nice. As it is your playing the Screed. Yep. Try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world. Um, okay, I promise not to destroy the world, but I can't contr control the humans. Right. <laughs> Clear? Wait, I have to kill people? You misunderstand. The people uh -oh. are already in life threatening situations. You choose the ones you save and the ones who you do not. So, like Final Destination. Maybe. I mean, it sounds weird if you think about it the fact that you're kind of deciding who lives and who dies. Like. Humans march towards the great dying. They always <laughs> the fate of the world lies in your hands, what? <laughs> creating endless chaos. Humans march towards the great dying. Oh my god, are you guys clerics of the grave? You guys sound like grave clerics. I mean, this is a very interesting thing. Also, it's fitting the fact that uh, the guy overseeing this has a cat. I mean, aren't cats equated with death? Yep. Yeah, yeah, for about the fluffiness. Although extra points, they didn't go for the uh, for the obvious black cat. Mm -hmm. What with white fluffy Wait. cats? Mm -hmm. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium <laughs> and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions <coughs> will have consequences. Oh, uh, well, I was literally born to do this. I could go with the philosophy yeah. here. Why? I, I was going to go with I was born to do this because that seems fitting. Yes, you were. Literally. I mean, he quite literally was born to do I this. So. With lemons. <laughs> I will now, literally, I will now show you the workplace. All right, let's see uh, how this goes. When the one week to show us what well, that doesn't sound off. ominous. Wow, there's a freaking trial period as a reaper. So basically, you know how people basically can survive, they survive a thing that they didn't, you know, that they shouldn't have and yet they did. It's basically we're in control of if they do or not or something. I don't know. Look! Grim mail. Uh, Tech Rush, check out these awesome new personal jetpacks. Oh. Why do we have a, a smartphone? <laughs> because we are not heathens. Cerberus Den, feed your soul. Open on weekends. You know, this game reminds me of a little bit of Papers, Please, already. It's basically semi-inspired, but there's less of a time limit. You can actually think about it and get philosophy of that. Here are the files of the humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I have a domain? Awesome! I am granting your time to settle in, so, not, so no difficult rules and requests of, as of today. Quota for they? One human has to die. Okay. Good luck on your first day. Okay. Alrighty. Say hello to the victims. Alright. So we've got two people. Read them out loud. So, are we. Oh, I've got a. I was about to. Say, well, yeah, because I was gonna drink water. Elwald. I. I guess that's his name. Ewald? Ewald. 
Ewald Buddy, that's a weird name. Ewald, a child prodigy, has been performing brain surgery since the age of 18. They're well established as a medical professional in academia and in practice. Ewald is addicted to adrenaline and is well known for taking great personal risks. Sounds like a surgeon. Well, he is a neurosurgeon, age 32. Then we have uh, Leland Polyov. Polikov? Polikov. Yeah. I know this game most likely got a lot of green f outside funding, and those who basically funded so much, their names are in the game, I think. Maybe. Most likely. Anyway, he's 40. A yellow sun, yep, a yellow sun rises. Shots have been fired tonight, is what Leland says every morning, looking into the distance, preparing for all the crime victims that never get brought in that day. Occasionally, they find bones from the dirt and use them to act out key scenes from Whamlet. Hamlet's Oakland Domain, you know. Yep. So. So, my first thought is the fact that they didn't really tell us, like, how they died. So that's kind of interesting. They keep it secret to us. It's kind yeah. of a way to make sure you don't pick, oh, well, this guy's gonna die anyway. His head's gonna chop off. But that's the thing, like, how do you determine which one of these is more worthy to let die? Because you would think that the brain, the neurosurgeon would save more lives than the grave The grave digger. So, I'm not sure if this is a trick question or not. There is no wrong answers. All your actions have consequences. It's deep, but not that deep, we hope. So, basically... Well, here's the thing. He's... Okay, I can't use the whole he's young card. They're, like, only eight years apart. Mm -hmm. But we also have a surgeon who's addicted to taking personal risk. Now, how do we know that this guy isn't going to try to do drugs before doing brain surgery? I mean, he well, most likely course. has some form of professional decorum. Mm-hmm. It's just, I can't see in this case where, like, because uh, the grave digger, I can't see him doing more personal good than the neurosurgeon. Mm hmm. Because it's like, all he does is really dig up, or he digs up graves and buries the people, so. Maybe he helps people with, you know, the, maybe the he stays there and goes, there, there, it's okay, but, you know, we don't know. We, we don't get a view into his life. Well, keep in mind, it says crime victims, so... Ooh. He must work in a place that's not... So, should we let the surgeon live? Yep. I'd say let the surgeon live and let uh, the gravedigger die. The marker of death. Okay, you live. Okay, so you live. Yes, I wish for this guy to live. Ominous music. Thanks. Obviously, it's hard to say, like, if how things will play out at the end, so it's, I'm very curious to see. Basically, what it is is it tells you that, like, the game, throughout the game, stuff happens and you have to read up on it. Whee! Well, this is definitely interesting. What ho! Customer. Quartermaster. Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Blunder Emporium. As you may guess, Are those cat ears. Immortal. Yes. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous. Nay. <laughs> Quartermaster. What makes you infamous? Why? Hard to say. Pirate King of War. Feared across the world. Even as I have grown most dumb. Uh, uh. I still carry within me glory days. Cool. A big I, polite. The Emporium brims with plunder. I plundered myself. Browse at your will. I don't have the cone coins for this. I'm very, very broke. So what do all the items do exactly? Uh, some of them are cosmetic. Uh, most of them are like cosmetic. Like, things you can put on your desk. Mm -hmm. Some of them are, um... Things that unlock new outfits and stuff. So it's purely <laughs> cosmetic. Nothing that really, quote-unquote, helps you beat the game. Well, except for one item. Well, well I guess we should go uh, see the boss, then. Do I have to? I mean... Assessment and whatnot. Uh... Unless you want to go see the other room. <laughs> Welcome. 
How was your first day? Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I guess. I, I mean, I'm not gonna get excited that I killed a random gravedigger. Everyone goes through that phase. <laughs> Remember, lives are on the line. I mean, I guess because we personally will never actually see the consequences of our actions, we'll only hear about them yeah, from a third perspective, yeah. so... It's like we're the silent observer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're the Grim Reaper, all we do. I should be doing Zenera voice while playing this because they're a cleric of the grave, but I'm not doing that accent all day. No. I see exactly one person perished today. As part. Did you figure out the best choice? I guess saying the best, there were only two options. Like, indeed. I don't know if you could really say that either were the best choice. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. Oh, good. Do I have to kill a mother now? I mean, let a mother die. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Now, you can veer from the path. You don't have to follow the path, but we're going to stay on the path so we can be nice and good. As good as, you know, people dying can be. Though, I mean, obviously, to decide, since we're deciding people's, the fate of people's lives, we are essentially above uh, good and evil. Yeah. We Since are, we are the kid with the magnifying glass on the anthill. We get to decide who lives and dies. Except the fact that our choices have uh, impact on the cosmos. You don't think killing a bunch of fire ants with a magnifying glass doesn't have some form of impact? Yeah, but considering the fact that this is quite literally... Uh, I mean, I do find this game intriguing already. But then again, it's probably because I find stuff like this fascinating. All right. Oh, I need to buy a mirror. I'm amused at the fact that everything is in the same building, but I guess it's to be expected. Also, it's hell. That seems very strange, considering. Well, it's not hell. It's, I mean... They're treating death. It's the afterlife. Yeah, the afterlife is being treated basically like a business. I mean, which it is. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Then. Let's see what we've got to do today. A uh, renowned neurosurgeon survives breaking most bones in a body and near failing at fall accident from a skyscraper. Most dangerous stunts. Body keeps piling up after the death of the city's only grave digger. Okay, what? See, this, these are the consequences, my friend. Yes, but first off, that doesn't even make sense. How the hell do you only have one grave digger in the city? Maybe it's a small, maybe it's a small town. I mean, it could be a, well, if we go by what we saw of that guy's name, he most likely most lives in a small town in rural Russia or somewhere in the Czech Republic. Also, could you scroll over the fax machine again? Because I think it has a very interesting name. What, the fax machine? Fax Machina? De Deus Fax Machina? Yep. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, it wasn't me, says the Secretary of the Environment, after a question about the horrible smell engulfing the city. What? Because of the dead bodies piling up. Oh. An in-depth overview of the merits of nuclear power. I'm going to assume that the merits of nuclear power are going to come up at some point. Sooner or later, yes. Okay, so, hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules you need to live for today. One human with an engineering... I have to kill one human with an engineering or industrial background. One of those has to die. Yep. This is going to be interesting if it turns out that they all... That only one of them does. Alright, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Well... Well, Kira is already out of the running because she doesn't have an engineering background. She is a chauffeur. You are safe. For now! We can still decide uh, right. if she lives or dies. We just we just have to fit the quota if we... Uh-huh. 
Safety Inspector, 47, Victor Yashin. Victor graduated at the top of their class and made a fast climb on the career ladder, becoming the chief inspector of a local nu nuclear power plant. Wow, I wonder, I wonder where that's that going to come in place. Guys. They have already spotted several mistakes, possibly for any many accidents. Rafika is a 33-year-old aerodynamics engineer, is very much into renewable energy, and has been trying to figure out a new experiment experimental way of making power generation more efficient. There's also a love of flying kites and playing with their dog. They have a dog! Mm -hmm. We have a problem! Um, Kira Aaron Mord, age 40, is a chauffeur. Kira initially became a rideshare driver due to the extra funds. Soon they found an opportunity to upgrade to a luxury vehicle chauffeur, which requires to go through an extra training and invasive detail- defensive training. Why do you have to do defensive training? I guess because of a chauffeur? And that's for a luxury thing? What? In case the- what? what the, I, I, I can't think about it too much. Stop. Okay. Okay, if I had to guess how this game is going to go, Victor dying will probably lead to problems at the nuclear- and at the nuclear plant, which will lead to more deaths. Which will lead to Three Mile Island and or Chernobyl. I'm going to assume that, uh, Rafika is going to lead to more deaths as well because of the fact that well, she's trying out new experimental ways of making power generation. Yeah. She will probably succeed, which yes. means that she might end up causing less deaths overall. And less nuclear fallout. Yeah. You know, I... Now I want to go with Victor purely because I want to see what happens. See, this is why he's not the Grim Reaper. <laughs> <laughs> this is very hard, though, because... Like you said, he found he found the mistakes, but she could be providing us with a new form of energy that's even more efficient than freaking nuclear power. Which how efficient is nuclear power, by the way? Is... Uh, well, it's the most efficient we have. It's just dealing with the waste. Aha! I don't know why I hod, but I hod. More than likely, like I said, the uh, nuclear power plant's gonna go nuclear. I can bet. It's gonna be. Though I still have to wonder why Kira is on here. It just seems very weird. Like, right. she doesn't really fit these two. Unless we're missing something. She just seems like an extra here. Hold on. Hmm? Is a chauffeur count as industrial? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, I was just curious in that department. I mean, if it was, I would say that we should definitely choose her as the uh, the one that needs to die because the other two seem kind of more important. Yeah, but we need one with an engineering background. Well, I know. I was just saying. Now, we can pull the card that Victor is the oldest, therefore closer to death, but that's kind of BS bullshit, ageist age shit right there. This concerns me. Should we let the nuclear guy die? Mm. You know what, why not? Because, I mean, we could always do multiple playthroughs just to see how this will go. Yeah. Okay. Nuclear guy. We're sorry. Yes. Should we let the chauffeur live as well? Sure. Even though... I mean, I think she'll end up being reckless, but go on. Entertain me too much. Hi, dude. Grim. How was the second day on the job? Meh. Good. Good. <laughs> Go with meh, I guess. You do not seem to be enjoying yourself. Oh no, I'm enjoying myself. I just hate hyper thinking too much. So, <laughs> did you follow the rules properly? Uh, did we follow the rules? Uh, I did. I, did, I mean, right? we chose one person yes. to die, so, who had an engineering background, so... This is when we find out that Chauffeur is actually one of the most industrial backgrounds ever. Continue the good work, and do not let tough choices get you down. I hope I get to get... Uh, we're, we're not going to say I hope I get to kill more people. We're not going to be nuclear. With your attitude. <laughs> Rest well. Apparently this game actually has a golden ending. 
We're not gonna go for it. We're just playing for funsies. I don't trust that cat now. Look at its eyes. Maybe the cat is actually fate. I haven't gotten any money yet, which is annoying me. I imagine the first couple of days we don't. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean. Oh, I want the mirror. Fine. Back to work. Pretty sure the calendar would also be useful, but. Eh. Oh, five this A time. letter. Local meltdown uh, at local nuclear power plant pollutes entire valley. Oh, we figured that was coming. Oh, looks like uh, saving the chauffeur was actually a good thing. Chauffeur invades, trying to assassinate. Oh, well, good news. The diplomat didn't die. We have nuclear winter, but the diplomat didn't die. And unique development in wind turbine design found increases production while lowering costs. Yay! We did a good. We. All right. Let's thing, see how many right? people we have to kill today. Wow. Hmm. Two humans have to die. Two. I, I like the fact that they say two humans. Well, maybe a dog is in here. Okay, so we're just gonna do this like two at a time, and mm -hmm. what we'll do is we'll read these one at a time and do a pile of live, die, and then figure out something. We're trying to be smart. Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Sadly, sure. it, just, it only says two humans, so it doesn't say we don't have to care about background, so that's good. Uh, let's huh. see. We have Fernando. There was something in the air that night. The stars were bright. Fernando. Sorry. Um, loves coffee and enjoys crafting elaborate foam art. I know as an artist mm -hmm. I should support him, but uh, as, a, as a human, I'm eyebrow raising. So far, I'm not seeing why this guy needs to live. The, there's an avid supporter of bamboo cups. Really? Bamboo recycling, dude. <laughs> In their free time, Fernando likes bird watching, pirate films, and selling bootleg Azure discs. They also have the most a very popular film review blog. Mostly popular. So Decker Shadow levels. <laughs> um, move over there, marker of death. Uh. Columbia is a distinguished war veteran. All these working days as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot, they are happily married and have five children. Man got busy. As a hobby, Col Columba is a extremely interested in history of religious buildings. I feel like I'm on a dating site, except I'm not dating. I'm killing. <laughs> is this what it's like to be on OkCupid? Yeah. I mean, you were on OkCupid once, so... Yeah. Uh, Adina is an ambitious news anchor who's trying to get more in more into investigative journalism. After the recent nuclear meltdown, Adina decided to visit the site of the accident, determined to find answers. You're- mm, Okay. I have, a, I have a feeling that she's gonna be important. She's either gonna be A, important, or B, she's gonna be a dumbass and turn into a freaking super mutant. <laughs> uh, let's see. Leo B B Barjas Bar- I can't read. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time, they worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Hmm. Although nobody has found proper proof, there has been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of nuclear, a number of realtor agencies. Hmm. He is 67 years old, so he is the oldest. <laughs> wow, Ark. I have to balance certain factors out, so. I know, but it is, the way you made it sound, it made it sound like, you know, we could just kill him. With the, with the political climate going on and, you know, bribes happening like crazy, it's like... Yes, <laughs> yes. Because that was clearly why I chose it. Like, it's multiple factors. Let's look, let's look at the last person. I'm just putting that in the maybe list. Mm -hmm. uh, Rashida is a re representative from Carthenia. Carthenia? If you're from that nation and it's real, I'm sorry for mispronouncing it. A nation recovering from a major economic crash. In oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> in Cosmopolis City for a state visit, they came to negotiate a mutually beneficial agreement as they were being driven to City Hall. Their vehicle was attacked. Hey, it's her! Yep. You get to live. Yeah, hey. I'd, say she, I'd say definitely she lives. Live. Okay. You get to live. Alright, mm -hmm. so now we gotta figure out from the other two. 
because Okay, I'm trying to figure... To yeah, because I'm just going by, like, who... Because, obviously, I'm trying to remain impartial because, let's be honest, our characters are naturally going to be impartial. So I'm trying to remain as impartial as well. That's why I put him the on bird, the... Bird... The, the guy to the right, the bird watcher, is probably not as valuable as some of these other people. Well, well once he discovers, like, a rare endangered bird and actually there's a massive nest. I'm, I'm playing... <laughs> I'm playing the what if card, aren't I? What was the uh, what was the general or what was the uh, guy with the naval hat again? Uh, the airline pilot. A distinguished war veteran. Uh, Welp is working as a well-regarded pa passenger airplane pilot now. Happily married, five kids. He's gonna be important. I can already bet. Yes, because the military are always and also. Well, not just that, but a well-regarded passenger plane. I'm gonna bet that's important somehow. That's gonna be related to something, something, something. So. The two that they're okay, so the two that I'm kind of thinking are the least valuable here are the politician and the bird watcher. Yeah, Leo is I, taking bribes and fucking up the. Basically. No, I would not be surprised if Leo's gonna somehow tie into the first person, but also like with Leo, he's one taking bribes, and as a person who doesn't like politicians taking bribes from everyone to basically make things, you know, be good for the briber. I mean, he's also 67 years old, he's so he is the oldest. My grandmother's older than that. <laughs> but, okay, valuable. I am sorry. You must die. Yes. Okay, one death. Mm -hmm. But he posts a very popular film review blog. You're going to point out that's not actually helpful in society, aren't you? Hmm? Well, he... The barista guy, he is also a big fan of the idea of bamboo cups, dishes, and utensils, which, you know, would be a little less bad for the environment. But then again, having a bunch of freaking bamboo cups isn't going to save us from the problems we're having because of the industrialization. Hmm. Am I making sense? Yeah. It's like people going, when Starbucks would stop throwing away, would stop doing plastic straws, I'm like, yeah, your plastic straws aren't really going to help us. We have to go to something a little bit bigger. This music is nice. Mm hmm So, Baris and Adina might actually discover something that's really hinky that happened in the nuclear meltdown. Hell, she might be able to find out that there was some actual hinky shit happening because, you know. Yep, which might lead into uh, certain factors. Yeah. Like, there is a very interesting overarching story going on. Yeah. So, should we let the barista die? Mm hmm. Sorry, barista, do. Your film art most likely is beautiful. Two people. Okay. Who am I missing? Oh, the politician. Die. <laughs> when do I get paid? Oh yeah, it's the I'm interning technically, aren't I? Grim, mm. my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Fine, more or less. Yeah. Good. I mean, I can't imagine a creature that was literally made for this job would have a lot of uh, personality. Also, I looked it up. That cat's name is Miss Pawington. Yes, don't insult Miss Pawington. Why are you looking up for how to get the golden ending? Stop that. I, I wasn't looking up the golden ending. I was looking up TV tropes because that's what I do. Ah, uh, you were seeing if this game had TV tropes. And, and I was wrong. It's Paw... Yeah, it's Miss Pawington, not Pawington. No. Let me take like, there's apparently a third option where you could actually just choose to save everybody, but... I don't like that idea, because that sounds very painful and punishing, right. and let's just stick to the standard <laughs> stuff right now, okay? Order. Mm -hmm. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. Yeah! The cat interjects? I don't like this cat! No, that's not true. Her paws are cute. Oh. Thank you for reminding me, Lady Poddington. Okay, dear. About your payment, which I may have... <laughs> I'm supposed to get paid out. this whole time. Yes, an unfortunate... Uh, hey, at least he pays his Grim Reapers. 
Worry not. You will be getting back pay for the missing days. Thank you. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. I don't know how I feel about that line. <laughs> performance accuracy? How actually yeah. are we talking? Not only that, but how does how that doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like unless you're as long as you're following the rules, you'd be accurate. But beyond that, like what? I think they're meaning like if you put if you like the engineer one. If we picked the chauffeur to die instead of an engineer, it, we would have gotten mark. We would have gotten bad marks. If you mark more than less than that, you will not get your fee at all. Okay, so don't go Errors too crazy. In secondary tasks mm -hmm. will reduce the total, even if the primary task is executed. Correctly. Now we're getting to philosophy. That really is not much else to mm -hmm. say. You Can may I pet the kitty? See you tomorrow. Okay, where's my money? 900! Woo! You know what we can do with 900 coins? Mm -hmm. We can plunder. I feel like why is the uh, the calendar there? That just feels weird. I'm gonna assume that uh, the mirror is going to be like the, the mirror is basically for changing your cosmetic look. This adds actual more new clothing. This I don't know helps you keep track of any passing tempor temporalities. That's what I said. I think I, I just considering the fact that it's been there since the beginning. I'm wondering if it's going to be important. Like the mirror, I'm not so sure if the mirror is going to be all that important it's considering it's just cosmetic. Yeah. So I'm trying to think like from a gameplay perspective, and I guess go with the uh, the calendar for now. See if it actually is important. Army. We scoured now every inch for this calendar. Alas, mayhaps we raided too many merchantmen for it. Because turns out. It weren't even on a ship. Still, you scoured for a calendar. <laughs> Filled to the brim Walmart cane squiggles and short omens between the numbers. And in the footnotes, also apparently it's possible to uh, do poorly enough to the point where actually uh, you'll end up with uh, your own profile <laughs> on your table, and you can actually mark death for it. From an old man on the steps of Acropolis. <laughs> Should I get the mirror? I mean, that depends entirely on if you're going to change things. I also think it's important to kind of keep money. Gotcha, gotcha. Because the mirror's probably going to be there for a lot longer. Ooh, shiny. Mortimer's. Okay, never mind. End the day. Mm hmm, sounds good. Oh, I got shinies. Oh, Coins. you flip them to help you decide. Makes sense. All right. So I'm going to assume we have 28 days. I'm assuming as well. <laughs> yep, it's five. Okay. Okay, all survived in a plane crash. Politician dead after being stuck struck by a car. Police have yet, have yet to rule out if it's a deliberate hit. Mm. Recent That's probably going to be important. Yeah, recent nuclear meltdown causes by serious violations. Reports a Shandy. Parliament to discuss stricter safety requirements for nuclear power plants. Yay! That's good! We did a good! We did a okay, good, Okay, right? so... I, I always... Like, the Highway Menace is clearly going to come into play. But I do like the fact that it seems like we're, we've done good things so far. We've made good choices, I guess. Air quotes. But yes. <sighs> Hmm, will the police finally do something about this highway menace? And also, in economic negotiations proceeding according to plan, potential deal in sight. And why are we always at 66%? This annoys me. Probably because of, you know, the mark of the beast numbers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, three humans have to die. We have five humans. This shouldn't be too hard, right? All right, let's see how many people here are worthy of death. Okay, you're getting a little too, in your, too into your job. I'm going to have to call HR on you. All right, so 
these are all the ones we have. Mm -hmm. Let's get to work. Uh, we have a guy who kind of looks like Markiplier. No, he doesn't. Um, it, it actually does look like Markiplier. Marky Moo, we found you! He's 39 years old. Logistics, logistics coordinator. Yeah, what's a logistics coordinator? I've already got concerns that apparently he has a secret fa two secret families. But I'm going to assume he's going to be important later because... Logistics coordinator, that's probably going to play some part into it. He has two secret families, though! <laughs> mm -hmm. Polter, I'm not so sure about. Repairing bicycles is Polter's life. They own a bicycle shop, designing custom bicycles, and pimping out- Pimping! They pimp out old bi- old rides! <laughs> he- he's gonna experiment- Aha! Experimental brake modifications! That's bad! Cause once mm -hmm. they don't work. Well, I'm just saying, once they don't work and a kid gets a special modified brake modification and then gets ran over by a car. Mm -hmm. That one will go in the in the death pile. Or the very good chance of death pile. It's not actually death, it's the good <laughs> chance of death. Same with same with Mr. Secret Families over here. Okay. Uh, an absolute speed demon. Uh, they cruise. Sorry. <clears throat> speed demon. They cruise utterly ridiculous speeds all around Cosmopolitan City, delivering miscellaneous packages to various people and companies with their stoic demeanor and calm nerves. Is this a baby driver reference? I, I like the fact that apparently fate is getting involved here. You should mark this profile as to live. Uh, pardon? Fate? Pardon? See, I'm gonna be partially rebellious. Okay, because... okay. I'm sorry, but the senator? Where? No. Which one's the senator? The senator, ah. the, the one on the left. Reader profile. Is an aging senator holding on to power because they can't imagine they could do anything else with their life? Ugh. It's the only thing that they have left. Ugh. Unfortunately, they're also growing increasingly Mr. Fabration and illiterate in the ways of the modern word. Okay, yeah, we're gonna just do this one right now, right here. I'm sorry, yo. They're hitting a little too close to home. <laughs> How many deaths do we need again? Three? Yep. Okay. So, that was an easy one. Uh-huh. Someone's gonna be like, what, you wanna kill old people? I'm like, Ugh. So... The ones I'm kind of thinking is, I'm going to assume, like, we could obviously say, screw you to fate. But fate might get mad. Mm -hmm. Which is bad. Ones that I'm kind of thinking, like, I'm kind of curious what the battleship guy can actually do. He loves these, he loves his own... He works on a battleship, doesn't he? Yeah. Maybe if there's a war. Mm-hmm. But, again, our news hasn't been talking about... Well, there is that whole degligation thing that was happening with that one country that has an economic crisis. But if you're in an economic crisis, you don't go into war. Oh, wait, hold on, never mind. He really likes battleships. And he's a kid. He's 26. Mm -hmm. I'm 29... I'm 30. I can call him a kid. Ugh. Hmm. Okay. And... Again, Poulter, the brake modification thing is something I would be concerned, as well as neon light installation. That could cause a visual hazard and cause cra car crashes. Am <laughs> I thinking way too big? No. Okay. So, I'm thinking this guy and the battleship guy. Mm -hmm. Though I'm gonna assume that Alessa is gonna end up causing problems. Alessa is gonna cause problems and a lot of car wrecks. Mm -hmm. Also, don't forget we have the senator with the double lot. We have the uh, one guy with the secret families. Let's not forget secret family, dude. Yeah, but he's also good at logistics, so that could be important later. Mm. And sailor guy is just a sailor amongst the sea of many sailors. And remember, we don't get rewarded more for killing more people, so... Darn it. Yeah, um, and again, he's just like... I can't believe I'm using this trope. He's basically like in the military, the sailor guy, he's basically the one guy in the military who's definitely gonna die within the first five minutes of the battle just to prove how difficult this is. Mm -hmm. He is ex- I don't want to say ex-, ex Expendable. Thank you. But again, he's just a random soldier. Sailor. Mm -hmm. And yes, he enjoys battleships and all that jazz. But again, ex- you know how military tries to get young recruits. It's kind of it's kind of cult-like. Uh-huh. Wow, 
Wow, we are getting philosophical crazy here. <laughs> well, I mean, that's kind of one of the parts of this game. Good point. Thank God Grim is busy playing Odyssey. He would be having way too much fun with this. Um, let's see. I I know Fate says we should let him let this woman live. But if we go via big brain, big picture, she could cause something pretty fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm talking 20 pile nuke. I'm talking 20 pile car up. Bodies everywhere. Should we go up against Fate and say let this person die? I mean, what's the biggest punishment we think, of, right? Well, that's the thing. Like, I'm also trying to think, like, what can cause the best? I'm actually thinking sacrifice her for the bicycle guy. Because the bicycle guy hasn't done anything wrong. It's clear that he's not, like, like, what? He just causes, like... He, he fixes and modifies and customizes bicycles. I mean, yeah, like, he he's clearly not really... Like, this person's a speed demon. Yeah. So, I'm saying mar mark her as death, mark the bicycle as live, and then mark or the Markiplier looking guy as live. You want the guy so, with the secret families to live, okay. It's not a case of the secret families, it's a case of the fact that he seems like the lesser of the evils. Oh yeah, he's logistical. Like, yeah, like that's the thing, logistical. It's a case of I think that'll end up coming into play like for the storyline we've got going here. So... All right. So the sailor's gonna have to die so that the bicycle guy can live. Because you need three people dead. Right. Soldier's gotta die. <laughs> okay. Death, 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 alive. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'm curious to see what Fade will say that because we uh, let the living woman that he wanted to live live. You gotta get cranky. You know he's gonna get cranky. Bossman's gonna get mad. Hi, boss man. I broke Great. fate. There you are. Let us be quick. Okay. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Maybe he was testing us. Although you may have an error with my test note, such inattention is not commendable. Dude, come on! I do not fully understand what you are planning to do with these. <laughs> Small and trivial acts of rebellion. How is what I did you a small are and trivial act? It more difficult for yourself. Who knows? Maybe he's bigger brain than me, but I'm thinking of it as the, the speed demon's no longer on the road, therefore we are safe. I guess we'll just have to see if the speed demon or if uh, the speed demon's deaths lead to anything. This cat is mad at me. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh, we oh. got 300. Yeah. What does Morty have today? Is that a cat toy? Yes. How much is the cat toy? I bought it. It's too late to ask. We'll have to give it to the cat at some point. What is that orb doing? Or that orb do? What orb? A light. The uh, snow globe. I, I will useful. tell you once he's done talking. But sure makes delightful squeaks when he stroke it. I make delightful squeaks when you. Never mind. Uh, peculiar flakes twirl dis disquietly inside the glass globe, never settling in the middle of the storm figures. It's too difficult to discern. Everything seems to be in a state of constant transfiguration. <gasps> that is expensive. Oh, maybe this is how you see how the world looks. Hmm. <laughs> That'll be interesting. And I take it that's a box of matches. The smokes. Oh, it's clothing. Hmm. I'm, not, I'm just not. I guess I'm not just interested in clothing. More interested in the things that were actually like. I wonder if uh, if if we had chosen to uh, take the one person that uh, fate would have been, you know, fine with. But let's see how today goes. Teen dies in freak bicycle accident due to malfunction. Hmm. Did I call? Did I not call that audience? Did I not call it? <laughs> did I not? Did I not? <laughs> did I? But we not? called the sailor. Uh. Delivery. <laughs> we 
hold on. Daredevil delivery driver crushed by falling dippers when suddenly Earth. Okay. Young sailor. He shot himself out of a can. What? 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 Mm hmm. Oh, she died. She fought for decades ago as a young progressive. Oh, oh god. Oh, 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 oh. This might be bad. Oh, we could have had a Ruth Bader Ginsburg incident right now. Oh, uh, ee. Scientists dis discover a new strain of, tur of super tuberculosis. That's so not... From what? what? So I'm going to assume that, obviously, the tuberculosis thing is going to play into one of these five, or to these six, but it's like... It's kind of hard, obviously, to figure out how your actions will have consequences based entirely on certain things. Sup we're not going to talk about how the disease is super tuberculosis. But you know what? Just for that, this one, you're going to have to pick who lives and who dies. No, you monster! Well, you're the one who's just like, oh, well, you know, two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a food service background. Okay, any human with food service, you're automatically alive. Congratulations, defensive. I monster. guess go through and see who's got a server. I guess go and see. Baker, does a microbrewer count as a freaking uh? Does a microbrewer count as a uh, cook? I don't know. He's a bartender. I guess figure out who. Uh... Bartender, so he's food industry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to kill these three humans. Well, this is gonna make my life a little easier. Two out of the three. <clears throat> Again, life a little easier. Sotero is a grad student at a marker biology lab where the research is focused on studying tuberculosis. I think I know who has to live. <laughs> uh, Which means you probably need to ignore the last guy. Just, wh just say. What? 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 Uh, wait. The artisan graphic novel is full of size and irregular is full of size and irregulation. They host together with a pal a religion themed podcast, without being a jerk towards other people's belief. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It's a pleasant listen that brings bi-weekly music in their free time. They're dedicated to crafting intricate poems in many languages. Was that why, is that why you didn't want me to spare him? Because he's a fellow artist? Yes. You think? <laughs> Dude, I can be a little bit more impartial. Mm-hmm. And also, he kind of looks like the guy who did the t who did a Timmy... Uh, oh, crap. Who is it? The uh, animator who did... Uh... Uh, fuck, fairly odd parents. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there is an option to uh, allow everyone to live in this, but you don't get any money for doing so. I don't want to do that right now. We're trying to play it normally. We'll play the funny ways later in life. Okay, so Levi Schaefer, you sell weapons to anyone. Already a war already a red flag. Their best customer, of course, is the military. Bigger red flag. They have sent lobbyists to, into governments to make sure there's always a war going on somewhere. EXTREMELY BIG FLAG! <laughs> okay. However... However... There's a however. Mm -hmm. Their... Their parents... Grandparents' last wish was for Levi to protect the forests of their homeland, for which Levi has been continually... Constantly funneling the money to. Ah! I'm sorry, but I can't see... Like... Keeping him alive, but... Anyway, I'm letting you make these choices That's because... That's the problem, because I'm one of those people who is like, we... I mean... Uh, he, he basically tries to make sure that there's always constantly war for him to make money, which is kind of fucking bullshit. That military money could be used to, for much more important things like schools, educations, health, etc., etc., right? <laughs> Are you just going to say yes or no so I can make... Okay. So I want, I want you to suffer her this one. I'm suffered already. Why did you give me the hard one? Fine, if you want, I'll help you with this one. But then the next one, you have to take it. Uh, no, 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 no. You just play the. Per you're just playing my rubber duck right now. Okay, be a cute little rubber duck. Oh, quack, quack. Quack. Thank you, rubber duck. Quack. <sighs> but he's basically causing war to make these trees stay alive. Basically, and that's also kind of hinky. Just remember, one of them, only one of these three can live. Yeah, the microbiologist, most likely. He's studying about tuberculosis. It's kind of important. Did you not read the news feed? Mm hmm. <laughs> We're coming to get you, Barbara. Okay, let's, let's see what the food 
service guys are like. Because we have to let the food service guys be spared. I'm just curious what their lives are like. Mm -hmm. Vlad... Valg... Ugh. Dreams of organizing pretzel, a pretzel invasion, crushing oppositions across all pastries. They actively promote pretzel supremacy. Pretzel shall one day rule the land of the confectionery? <laughs> Is this a reference to some that one Simpsons episode? I'm not really sure, to be honest. But he's a baker, and we have to let him live. Mm-hmm. Uh, Aurel is baking, barely hanging on while already high living expenses keep rising. They're certain that they can do great things with their arts degree when they get around to finishing it. <laughs> they also like to do organic um, origami. What the fuck is also, that? Also, I can't tell if that's a man or a woman or an elf. It's an elf. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sigmund lives together with their artist girlfriend. They cra They... Like craft beer, well, you're already evil. And biking. Sigmund's brew was voted best local craft beer of the year twice. Well, he makes micro, he makes beer. That's pure evil. Are you being judgmental? I don't like beer. So the, so the person is evil because of that? No, but also the people who I usually meet who are micro brewers, come sides come off a little snobbish, but eh. All right, well, I guess we get to see how the world is going to take your choices. I'm already dealing with mental trauma. And if you did good enough, then uh, you'll even get tomorrow's choices. A day. Let us go over your conduct first. Do we have to? Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. <laughs> anyway, Grim, five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? <laughs> I didn't like it at first, but I've grown to enjoy it. Because I do not want to do, I want to kill everyone, I swear. I think I, I, I have this feeling that if you choose the choices where you're unhappy about making choices, that'll lead to something, but it's hard to say. But again, this is uh, your choice. You made it. Uh, Why I always play these games is beyond me. Corporate motivation and all that. <laughs> but because you like making yourself is. suffer? I'm not sure. Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. <laughs> what this the tradition has wrought? Control over all the lives. Unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you make? True enough. One must be in charge. The others are there to follow. We must have leaders, we must have followers. We must have sheep, we must have sheeple. The office is perennial and venerable. I know he's talking about the office building that we are in, but my brain keeps thinking of the sitcom. And I want that to be a thing. What we are doing. Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask? I don't want to know. Ask. I don't want to know why that question. Why don't? Why? Yeah. Why aren't we killing kids? That's the thing that I'm actually very concerned about. Uh, it's hard to say why. Not at all. In all and in none, yes. Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet Remember, it's your choice. You chose. Alright, I'm not human, I'm a Grim Reaper. And you're a Navi. Hey, listen, listen, hey, listen, listen, hey! The result of their own deeds and decisions. I believe that's uh, how wooed. Then there are some highly complex calculations, factors, and aspects that influence the situation. But that is just a bit over your pay grade. So, anything else? Ah, the children. They are a special case for a different set of departments to deal with. Oh, so that's you why there aren't any kids. Any I mean, I guess it makes sense. 
Well, that and also child death in video games is considered a big, 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 big taboo. Countless. <laughs> yep, at least until they're old enough to die. Myriad. Close enough. Anything else? Do Absolutely. animals get a department? All living beings have to be processed after the end. I want to know about puppies. I want to know if all dogs go to heaven. I want to know if the show lied to me. Even plants. Yes. First off, it wasn't a show; it was a movie. Do not ask about the plant department. I want to know about the plant department. Anything else? Technically, uh, kind of. I get. Really, <sighs> are like a type of dead. But then again, they feel so alive. There's a plant department and a p and a building department. Mm, I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. Anything else? I mean, I yes, guess there's a department for every kind of death. You what see, about death of my Grimm, dreams? Our office does not operate on information. Well, that's uh -huh. great. They all offer uh, all the profiles say day. They don't care about biologics. That's great. Minimal. Hmm? Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Clearly there's only one it's suggestion for this. Murder! Holding it. The bottom line is that the humans end up on... No matter place. where your background, no matter whatever, you will always die. Things that are always huh. constant, death and taxes. Anything mm -hmm. else? Hey! Right. Title drop. Hey, and there's the title. Lightning. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Time for murder. We're not also, murdering. Also, woo, I'm so excited for tomorrow. Yay. Why? <laughs> uh, the next WoW expansion drops tomorrow. Uh. So if you don't hear me for like a month, that's why. <laughs> because you did decided to play a new game. Is that an apple? That's a gourd. Oh, it's... it's Again, I just I don't really see much reason to buy clothing. At least maybe not for a first time. Yeah. This is a radio. And this is a lamp. <clears throat> I'm gonna assume that some of these are, like, just for desktop ornaments. Yep. I imagine there's some important items you have to buy. Alright, Let's see uh, what your choices are today. Why do they keep stockpiling the coins? Because that's my paycheck, dude. Um, local brewer wins best beer of the war beer of the competition, third year in a row. New modern. <laughs> hey, no reading third. ahead. Uh, a new modern painting exhibition pictures of happiness. Oh, what's that like? Why are all these damn pretzels everywhere? Because they're delicious. <laughs> we knew that would happen. Noted podcasts are struck by lightning after uttering bla blasphemy. I'd like to pretend that he said something very, very homophobic and God was like, that's it. Zap. Shut up. Number of armed conflicts decreasing. That's good. Panic arises as a new super tuberculosis escapes the lab. I thought I freaking- Oh god, I let him live, but he- He must have carried it on him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Number, uh- Man, I guess the- Guess I have to see how it all plays out today. Small town progeny moves to the city. We say reach for the stars. Scientists very close to figuring out how to counter dangerous pathogen. Well, that was a lot quicker than what's happening with our dangerous pathogen. Hi. Okay. Alright, let's see you have six, to kill today. six humans. We have eight. At least two humans aged 35 mm -hmm. or older have to die. Or sorry, 35 or younger have to die. Any humans with a medical background have to die. So I guess go through... This sounds like fate is wanting to cause more death. It sounds like fate is trying to make me remember what's happened during the year with plague. Okay, so let's just get the ones that are the definitely will die pile. Mm -hmm. Okay, the immunologist. Uh, doctor. Retired. Is a manicurist a doctor? No? I okay. Don't think so. Uh, at least two human. Uh, just ha age 
over 35. So now we have the maybe pile. So this one is going over there. This one's going over there. Oh no, sorry, sorry. 35 or younger have to die. So... Well, I can't decide whether you should live or die. You're having so much fun with this. Okay. So the doctor has to die. Oh. I'm still gonna read his profile. After decades of working as a doctor, Manuel, 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 Man, Manuel, ultimately just got out of it, got really tired of it. Nowadays, they're experimenting with dead bodies. Come on. <sighs> trying to sew your them. Necromancer in the work. Trying to sew them together in order to create some sort of new life form that could potentially live forever. Doctor Frankenstein, is that you? So he's no longer a doctor. He's the fucking medic, dude. He has to die. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not like we have a choice. If we follow the instructions, then we have no choice. We must follow the instructions, for death is inevitable. We must follow this fate will be blah 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 blah. For the past 15 years, Ye has spent every working day working in a windowless concrete bunker, testing various vaccines in order to eradicate some of the deadliest diseases of the world. During the off times, they enjoy lengthening bike rides. So you're basically a you're a carrier. You could be carrying it, mm -hmm. a deadly disease. I'm just saying. I'm trying to give myself a reason why to kill this woman, okay? <laughs> okay, so you gotta die. Uh, so we need four more. But we have to have at least two human age 35. We don't have to have all, all the people who are age under 35 die. But we just have no, to have at least uh, two of them. Anyone who has a medical background basically has to die. Already did that. These two are retired. All right. Six people, though. Jeez. Ryan lived an exciting, joyous life up until retirement. Then everything started going downhill. His life became rough, sad, and lonely. Their friends and family are all gone. Their pets have died. Nothing seems to be going right at all. And yet, they keep living. Hmm. That could either provide hope for this poor guy, or... Something. A few years ago, after they had saved enough money, lived comfortably, and their holiday plans were put on hold due to the recent outbreak of super tuberculosis. Okay, why is that so familiar to me? Probably because that's exactly what's happening in our world. Yeah. Okay, email scammer. I want this guy dead. Well, that's just rude. He made a freaking spam bot and takes credit card information. I've had <laughs> to deal with assholes like this. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I I'll, I'll be right back. I'm going to drink real quick while you make your choice. Uh... Remember... It's you. I'm very well aware. It's my responsibility. Have you decided who lives and who dies? One of them. Email scammer. Hmm. My brain was thinking, well, maybe he made the program, and then I sit here going, no, you don't have to make the program. You can buy it pretty quick, easily. <clears throat> so Conrad here makes very, very, va very, very fashionable and, va and weaponizable <laughs> weapons. He's basically making the ultimate gel, gel nails, and they can be a weapon. So that's a... That, that's a bad sign right there. They can't decide if they want to be an astrophysicist or an astronaut. This guy's a stunt guy. I want to give Brian Chu the sweet release of death because he's gone through so much and he's alone now. Mm -hmm. Give him the sweet release of death. Would that be considered, would 
that because he's also 89 years of age, so. Hard. Philosophy hurts. Why do I play these games? Because it was either this or House Flipper. Good point. At least the music is nice. I don't know why. I don't want to be mean to the guy who basically makes nail art. <laughs> but we need at least one more person under the age of 35. But his designs keep getting wilder and more impra impractical, which I consider a bad thing, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you can, uh, uh, you, you know, you can play Devil's Advocate or whatever. <laughs> this is a co-op. We're co-oping. Yes, but it's more fun to watch you squirm. Uh, I hate squirming. If I were to go with the one whose death would probably have the least impact, it would probably be the guy who's trying to weaponize, you know, Nail tech. nails. Well, this guy's a stunt person, and he's basically going to be in a f stunt doubling for a famous st film star and upcoming action blockbuster. And really, we needed more blockbusters in our life, don't we? Mm -hmm. What was the others about? Uh, she basically wants to either be an astrophysicist or an astronaut. Well, let her live. Okay. This guy is basically, he likes to, he loves danger, but he also loves safety in equal measure. So he's not too much of a, he's not like a risk. You know what I mean? Who was, what was about the other t retired woman? Uh, she saved enough money to live comfortably, but their holiday plans were put on hold due to the recent outbreak of super tuberculosis. But we need one more, um, over 30, under 35. Hmm. Well, I guess there's only one option then. The con, who? The manicurist. Gotcha. I need... Okay, so I still need one more. If you wanted to take my opinion, go for the one who's already retired. The astrophysicist could do great things, and the stunt driver could do great things, because they're both 20 and 19, respectively, so... Yeah, this sounds like we're so ageist, but also... <laughs> again, I would... I'll... Uh, make sure to mark them as alive. Oh, right, thank you. He all, but he's not like a risk risk because he's like, yeah, he's going to most like he cares about safety and shit. So it's like he, if he doesn't, he would most likely even improve the ability to do stunts in movies, which is important. Mm -hmm. We're trying to think big brain here. We're failing epically because I'm tired and hungry and want cake. Well, then why don't you go get those things? Because I don't have cake. Then why don't you go get something to eat at the very least? Ah, grim. It looks to be a rough day out there. New recruits. <sighs> if I was there, I would drag you to go get some to eat. No, you won't. No, you won't. Seat. Yeah, I would. No, I won't. Seat. Yet you seem to have performed adequately. How do you feel after such a day? <clears throat> there was a lot. Good, good. We have to do what is necessary. <laughs> Even I poked the kitty. Really understand why. Let us hope these days do not continue. Why did you poke at a kitty? I pooped the snoot. What happened? <sighs> Why did you poop the snoot? Why did you poop the snoot? He asked me, what do you think is happening? I go, you knife. I'm assuming there was a freaking medical issue. Off you go now, Grim. So Good weird how I'm dealing with a plague, right? We're dealing with a plague in game. Poop the snoot! I boop with the schnoot and then I and I told it. Ooh, danger noodle. Sup? Hi. Uh, what? What do you want? <coughs> A fresh-faced lemon head. Uh, exactly what I want. Hey now, Gus. Play nice. <laughs> Well, Hello, Gus. Hi, Gus. <coughs> ask questions or something. I'm the janitor. I clean up the damn mess you make. Liquor, spirits, booze, fire water, vodka. You're up to something. Ever looked in the mirror or thought about the clientele of this place? Where do you think the drink goes? None of you have a stomach. Anything you consume falls through the rib cage straight to the floor. <laughs> I was wondering why the floor is so sticky. Sounds like something I would say. Like. 
least a little more considerate. Gee, uh, thanks. Eh, uh, something else you wanted? Sorry, the helicopter. Hella. Why, thank you. Nothing but a sweetheart, ain't you? Ah, shucks. You're the only one who truly treats guts with respect. Simple. I float around and I possess stuff and make the stuff float into the trash bin. I mean, that's easy. But dust, for example, one dust particle... You'd think in the land of the dead they would have given him something a bit more, but... You would think they'd give him that vacuum in uh, that Luigi has. <laughs> Oof, that is awful. Oof. He has to clean up one dust particle at a time or one droplet at a time. Custodians and spawns to them, literally. What do I have a feeling we'll eventually be able to buy a broom or a mop for this guy? I'd buy a broom or a mop for this guy. Do you really? <clears throat> or you just another number in a long line of numbers? Hmm? Eh, something else you wanted? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Why does everyone think ghosts are dead humans? I don't know, prejudice. Yeah, maybe folks should get over this common misconception. No, no. Ghosts aren't mere residue, a relic of humans, animals, or whatever it is. These are just ghosts. We're beings unto ourselves. I am the ghost. Hmm. The ghost. I am the ghost of a ghost. A ghost, a ghost that died. Ghost that that sounds ghost. hilarious. One day, I, died. I know what you're <clears> now. That makes very little sense. Northeasterly direction down at one thirty four. Not too busy over at Geistal, though. Weird. Don't die that often. Come to the territory. Something else. Yeah, yeah, I gotta get back to work anyway. Is that a Green Day poster? Yes, it is! I'm gonna assume that you don't want to buy drinks because it might upset Gus, so... Mm. <laughs> At least that's what I'm guessing. <laughs> Funny games that are my style. <laughs> that was a great option. Cactus kids. An apple's an option. A rose is also an option. Rose is an actual edible food. I'm gonna assume that the apple is not a like. I guess go with the rose then. Time for question number two. <sighs> Working is dumb, lame, and pointless. Uh... Next up, question three. Almost there. You wake up after an accident that has left you in a coma for decades. Your body and mind are ravaged beyond repair. The doctors offer a solution. A cybernetic brain transplant with personality. <laughs> Murder bot! Those are kind of, like, when you only got three choices, neither of them were really all that 
good. Now a team of brutes are coming for you all. <laughs> if you work together, you may be able to figure out this situation. What will you do? <laughs> Destroy your friends, they're deemed worthless. Or useless. How about my friend how about how about my friends get their act together for once, huh? Well I didn't use that one, I used the one below it. Mm-hmm. Leans to stability. I'm stable. Mm-hmm. I've got the approach start off with a nice mixture of four centiliters of gin, one slash and some lime juice concentrate, add several slices of well smashed cucumber and some cucumber. I imagine these are things that can actually be produced in real life. Yep. The borehole? Yeah. <laughs> I imagine Grant, or uh, Gus isn't gonna be happy. Nope. <clears throat> Second understatement of the century! Now what else can I get you? Thanks. Mortimer found the original oinker on an excursion to the shrouded zones. It's a bit of a hassle, though. It keeps multiplying. Take your eye off for a second, and bam! Tiny pickle everywhere. Go on, take one. Just make sure you feed it with some coins. Oh, I gotta feed mm -hmm. it a coin. Mm -hmm. Heck, where I well, I would explain where all those coins are for. Likely haven't fully realized the size of this place. We've got you reapers and all the myriad departments, the custodian legion, the weirdest data grinders. And the the abysmal archive with its archivists. Cadaver resources. <laughs> but someone's got to deal with the internal issues. Middle management. Nobody knows what they actually do. Higher management. But they don't visit us. Basically ever. <laughs> I like the fact that ca cadaver issues is the name for human resources. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Many of the regular workers come by with that mouse. So keep your eyes and ears open. What else you got in mind? Au revoir, little reaper. Good patron, me ship of goods is at your service. <laughs> oh, I can re Oh! Oh, it's only one use only. I was like, ooh, an eraser! <coughs> oh, one use only. <laughs> but since we're always careful about who we pick, I can't tell if that's going to be all that much of an import. Oh, we got a piggy bank! Oh, well, he did. she did say that, uh, you know, they had a habit of, uh... So I guess you know where you can put all your coins now? into your swollen pork hollow. What's is what is Astrofix all about anyway? Let Annabelle teach you. Oh, Annabelle became a YouTuber. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's epidemic hits hardest with those trying to combat it. The art of dying provides a little into the ways of sense of plot and characters with the action coordination and stunt work is excellent. <laughs> Corpse stealing, stealing doctor found dead, neck snapped. I wonder why. Oh god, it's a medic. Apparently he still ended up creating that thing. Yep. Oh god. Uh, stunt performer urges people towards a healthier lifestyle. It's alive, a monstrous scene lurking around the city. Ugh. Death toll rising for super tuberculosis. Living corpse is real and it's here to eat all your children. AI breaks through immune processes. Imminent Promises Founder, Transglobal Inc. Fracking linked to earthquakes. New research confirms it. Cozy Bohemian Waffle House gaining popularity. Well, at least it's a Bohemian. <laughs> okay, let's see. Two humans have to die. Spare humans who seem helpful against the troubles. Well, well we that's pretty... Oof. Oh, that must be the, uh... Frankenstein, yeah.
I I'm amused that we actually get to choose that thing's okay. life and death. I mean, he's a philosopher. <clears throat> okay, you seem helpful against the troubles. Okay. What? I'm gonna assume that the abomination is not human. That we know of. Mm -hmm. How many do I have to kill? Two. I only have to kill two. <laughs> this shouldn't be as hard. Mm -hmm. But you have to spare anyone who is, uh, you know, helpful. Yeah. Against what current troubles are happening. Okay. This guy wants to be the head of fracking, which we've just... Yeah, had. that's that's not good. That goes in the... He's gonna... Produces high tech gadgets like smart wise digital home assistants for the past five years. He's the foremost proponent of algorithms and artificial intelligence research. Didn't we have something about that in here? Oh, yeah. Uh, AI. Coming soon. Rise of the robots. Hmm. Could be interesting. Uh, fracking leading to earthquakes, so the oil guy is definitely dangerous to keep around. Uh, embodiment of a ruthless politician will do anything to gain and maintain power to be treachery, deception, even murder. They are willing to manipulate, destroy those who consider friends. Oh my god, what the f is wrong with you? Put him next to the guy who's fracking. Yeah. I think we've already figured out two of the people we want to die. Yeah. Money launderer. Oh, the waffle place. Ha, <laughs> so he's not actually a waffle guy. Some hipster just basically found this guy who was doing money laundering and ate really shitty waffles and apparently... Mm -hmm. So wait, what was that about the waffle house at the bottom? For the phone? Because there wasn't a thing about the waffle house. On it. Cozy bohemian waffle house gaining popularity. <laughs> <laughs> Some hipster YouTuber influencer bullshit, basically. Mm-hmm. Well, the guy who's fracking is definitely dangerous. This lady is conning people out of conning people and buying trying to convince people to buy fake in fake insurance. Jesus, they're all pretty bad. Yeah, so that's that's the understatement of the century. The only one who doesn't seem bad is the actual monster. Monster lives! <clears throat> Alright, so let's. These? I guess start. The AI guy I'm kind of curious about because. Uh, he's basically the performance. But he's not going to hurt, cause any troubles. He's basically working on a new AI system, which could mm -hmm. lead to the rise of the machines, which is bad. Like, that's the thing, like, someone who could help the Troubles, like, how do you determine that? That seems a bit When you odd. mean help the Troubles, do you mean we'll make the Troubles even worse, or basically stop it? What's wrong, Mitty? You guys are being- You guys are being too philosophical for this to hour. <laughs> nah, cat wants my attention. Not you. Oh, a uh, snake. Uh, uh, sorry. Hey, Graham. This is called Death and Taxes. Sorry, I just now noticed your message. Basically, we get to decide who lives and who dies, and we get all philosophical. You missed some great philosophic, philosophic debate. <laughs> I can't speak English anymore. My brain is mush. I can't decide whether you should live or die. And he's been singing that like five times now. <laughs> well, fracking is bad, period. We all agree well, on that. Well, as pointed out, like, one of the notes notes that uh, fracking has been increasing uh, earthquakes, which are obviously bad. So, that guy should die. <laughs> mm hmm The state official is just basically very, very ruthless and treacherous and is basically wanting to grab people up, grab people by the balls with an iron vice vis and just try to get up there in the world. Mm hmm. The caregiver, on the other hand, is a shitty caregiver and doesn't give two shits about the people that they're supposed to care about. So I guess three people die, three people live? No. Actually, no. 
I take that back because even the money launderer is kind of fracked. Yeah. Although I have this weird sense of hope that the money launderer will just go into waffle ha go into the waffle making business and stop being a launderer. Sure. Why not see? Because we only have to kill two people, so. Yeah, so I'll let this guy live. So we've got. Yeah. We've got him. The IT guy would basically make robots, mm -hmm. which would be useful in the future society, unless mm -hmm. they up unless they become the uprising. Car going by. Very fast. Sorry, I'm just seeing if there's anything in here that could help us. <coughs> No, there is not. Okay. So... See, this is where I just, uh, you know, sit back and twiddle my thumbs while laughing at your pain. Yeah, you're already doing that, and if Grim wasn't here, he'd be joining you. I just don't like it when there's a person who's basically taking care taking advantage of the elderly and basically taking their shit, you know what I mean? Mm hmm I don't like that. Do I think she deserves to die? And this guy, this person, Nadir, they're just ruthless. But for all we know, they're ruthless in a positive way. Like, if we were to take no shits, screw you, we need to do this thing, we shouldn't be doing that thing kind of situation, you know? Mm -hmm. For all we know, they are ruthless in the positive way. Hold on. I got a private message. Well, you can figure out who it is from. Oh, yeah. I think that the elderly lady who's basically taking advantage of elderly people should die. Of all, okay. the, of all the options we have. Mm -hmm. And also I want to see if robot battles become a thing. Well, it's your choice. Can you stop making me feel regret- making regrets? Life is a bench of regrets, kitty cat. Welcome. You know this. Grim. It is the end of the week. Your performance routine draws near. How do you think you have been doing? I'm surprised I've made it this far, to be perfectly honest, but... Mm -hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Feel free to say that, then. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Great. Now then, before the assessment... Why do we have a psych eval? Let us look over your daily conduct. I see the required profiles are all here. Excellent. This bodes well for the evaluation. I guess it is time to get started. Yes? What about today? Oh, absolutely. Things are already looking up. Yay! Do not worry about it. Fixing the world is a slow process. So, keep at it. As long as you follow the rules. I'm not sure about that. Mm. Now, where did I put those papers? Ah, here we go. Right. Looking at these stats, the numbers say your conduct over the seven days has been most excellent. I am sincerely surprised and pleased by your display of loyalty. We're loyal like a puppy. So much so <laughs> that the office has deemed you fit for a raise. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me, Grim. We are just getting started. Oh. Speaking of, the raise. Well, you kind of expected that. I figured the first week would be the easiest, and then from there, we're going to die internally. Board of excellence. <laughs> Display it proudly on your workstation. Display it proudly on your workstation. I'm gonna assume you need to keep it up or something. Maybe. Do not let this cloud your judgment. You still have much to learn, and many rules to follow. More rules! One gets used to them. That's to be expected. Right mindset. <laughs> like ice <laughs> cream. <laughs> As such, your seven-day evaluation period has concluded. You have passed. That is all. Until tomorrow, Grim. 
Oink. I wonder what happens if you let everyone live. <laughs> like, how does he judge you? Only 400? That doesn't seem like much of a raise. Hey now, Sonny. We don't belong to nobody. Oh, sorry. Who told you about the plan department? Forget what you heard, Sonny. No such thing. Anyway. Who dares to hope in this day age? We deny everything. Eh, ain't nothing to tell. Don't poke your nose where it don't belong. And you never will. Ha ha ha. All right, we're just kidding. It's not really that big of a deal, anyway. Sonny, it's just a regular depot. Not even that big. But it's very busy. What do you think? It's a if uh, it's every plant on the planet, then I wouldn't be surprised if it's busy. With how much fungus there is? How much we can... Yeah. There are a lot of plants. A lot. More than humans. Plants everywhere. <laughs> We're real tired of folks asking about the plant. Is why we visit the den on Sundays. Lowers the chance of bothersome business. Who even gave you the idea the department is anything interesting? The boss? Sonny, we'd wager fate's just messing with you. Anything else? Seeing as we're now deep me? I'm Herbert. Hello, Herbert. You know, sort of like a herb, herb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the green fella holding me up. That's my pal, Tim. Tim's a real hoot. Say hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Tim's my partner. All root, stem, and leaf. Sometimes they bloom. And have the most delightful I'm learning about a plant reaper. This is what my life has come to. And the bees from the bees. Just think you could have been in bed us. sleeping. There. I know. Anything else? <laughs> the bees from the bee department. There's a bee department? <laughs> Makes perfect sense, don't it? Uh, don't ask about the bee department. I want to know about the bee department. Anything don't ask else? about the bee department. <laughs> Guess you could say that uh, those in the bee department are very busy bees. I'm rolling my eyes at you. <laughs> you can't say you expected you better. No. Got a promise you won't spill a bee. If at some point you break your word, beware. Our rhizo reaches far, and these roots can rip the skull off a skeleton in an instant. Snap! A fitting punishment. So listen closely. We're secretly developing technologies that can make all plant matter in the world toxic to humanity. Wait, what? No! Obviously, we're super serious. Honestly, Sonny, we just use a knife. <laughs> Not in this lifetime, Sonny. Plant department scares me now. Sounds like he just does it for the puns and the jokes. I need these cat ears. You know why I why was am I not surprised? Because ain't nothing out there that frightens me. Once we looted an ancient tomb. At least we have a decent amount of money today. Yay. You know I guess you will probably have to buy the mirror as well then. Particular set of ears. Oh, what's that three skull Where thing? It's a fidget spinner, I can tell here. you that already. Happened to overhear a mutineer plot. Of course. Night. So I threw them all right overboard. Plotting with the fishes now, they are. Fidget spinners <laughs> are great cat toys, by the way. Are they now? Oh, tis wondrous marvel. Once upon Ugh, that's expensive. What, a fidget spinner? Yes. An accursed lighthouse. 
Plundered the lot of it. Even the mirrors. Built the frame from useful driftwood washed ashore. When the ship we rammed into. <laughs> Covered it in all gold, too. Coarse. I, a proper beauty. Uh, hello? Hello. Hmm? Kind of you to finally answer. We are the exalted Chimera, envied by all the blind, arrogant fools. We are Angst Ex Milio. We are nothing. What? Despicable failures. The... <clears throat> we are Elan Vital, the guide who won't lead us Weird. Away. If only you learn to listen. We are deaf. How does it feel? You know, dying. You do remember, right? He's seeing you, reader. It's a grim world out there. The cat people heads are very not not what I wanted. <laughs> I wanted kitty ears on my skull. Well, I guess uh, you have to pick which one you like the most. Not happy with the kitty ears. Mm -mm. Oh, poor kitty cat. That wasn't so good, was it? Crisp and clear like the azure pond at the forest glade. <coughs> you were born. It's like a surge in your. It's very close, Grand Reaper. Be seeing you. Basically, I think that's supposed to be our little voice in our head. Hmm. <laughs> to the killing of many humans. Uh, Adapta, the possibly undead, comes out of hiding and rolls at Central. Oh, is there, it, he went to university! <laughs> nice. Odd corpse person inspires new ideas about tissue damaging and flesh regeneration. Also nice. Uh, beware for Scarland, resumably, resolutely climbing the profession, political ladder. The presidential office might be not far. Oh, Scarland promises to increase funding of medical budgets. That's good. See, we did a good. <laughs> uh, find numerous backdoors to transglobal ink products, granting access to any known unknown mar number of parties. Oops. Damages from fracking deemed too excessive and expensive. Government vows to shift towards developing better renewable energies. Yay! We're doing good! Numerous people have contracted dysentery. Damn it. Rumors of match fitting and fixing in the boxing scene register garner interest from investigators. We have to kill three humans and spare any humans aged between 35 and 60 if possible. So, how many people do we have to kill? Two? Three. Hmm. And spare any humans aged between 35 and 60. So, 35 and 60? Alright. So, I have to automatically kill these two?
<laughs> this is hard now. And hey, you're coming up on the two hour mark. Yeah, that means I can nap, right? Yeah. And I could stop for the day and just relax some more. Well, finish up this day and you can do that. Yeah. But first you have to decide who lives and who dies. This is my life now, audience. Uh, Kali believes in the power, in their power to only give the best advice to politi potential political candidates of the neutral party to boost the success of their campaign. Their self-confidence might be misplaced as their reputations of everyone they've ever advised us by have been crashed and burned. Yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that they're not going to be very helpful. Yeah. Okay, so I have to kill the pugilist. Because I, I, I can spare humans age... But that's only if possible. Oh, but he's but he has a he has a work he's a working class hero. The pugilist? Yeah. You can keep him alive. He's thirty one. It says between thirty five and sixty. Spare, not kill. Uh, okay. See, see, spare, right there. Spare. See, S P A R E, right there. Ah. Uh. So we have to figure out uh, the other three who has to die first. Yeah. Well, I'm going to assume that the guy who apparently is very terrible at his job is going to put. Right. <sighs> Tara can read the thoughts and feelings of their boss at any given moment because they've successfully learned all the minuscule facial switches. Although they often tell everyone of their career ambitions at length, that in truth they're just happy to help. Their personal assistant. Technically, they have to die because they're over the- they're under the age of freaking 35. Oh, wait, hold on! This man's 66! <laughs> so if we go by basic rule of thumb, we kill these <clears throat> three. Because any human between 35 and 60 has to be spared, which would mean the motivational speaker and the really shit advisor. Okay. And these three would have to die. Mm-hmm. It's simplistic, and I hate it, but we're following the rules. Well, go for it, then. We're gonna die. We're already dead. Well, I guess see what the boss says and ah, yes, there you then are. go from there. Great work today. You fulfilled your tasks adequately and all. However, an emergency has occurred which requires my utmost attention and I must depart for a couple of days. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, listen up and keep this to yourself. Some philosophers and researchers are attempting to set up a utopian community for the betterment of hmm. humanity. How's that bad? I must investigate their strategies for any flaws. Anyway, <clears throat> while I am gone, another <clears throat> will be in charge. Boom. Even though you passed the evaluation, I cannot leave you without any supervision. You will have more freedom, sure, but it is not limitless. Hmm. Therefore, you will have to continue your daily reports as usual. <laughs> I will be informed of your progress. Why, you are already acquainted. It will be Lady Poddington. Really? The, the cat is in charge of us. <laughs> I feel offended. Okay, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. A cat is in charge of us and you're offended, kitty cat? A little bit, yes. Because it's not me. Oh, poor kitty cat. Anyway, so that was... <laughs> That was so far death and taxes. We'll be stopping for now. I need to consume liquids. And also get less sick. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. You know this. Um, good night, everybody. Take care, all.